Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, it's Wednesday. It's Snapshot Day. We're going to look at the snapshot post on the official website and then look at the image they've attached to it talking about the actual like cave and ore generation. Okay, Minecraft snapshot 21W08A. Tweaked cave sizes further. Canyon and cave carvers now apply below Y equals zero. Cracks can now be found carved into the ground. That sounds f***ing sick. That sounds so cool. Grimstone has been changed into deep slate. So they've changed the name entirely now. Used to be Grimstone. Now it's called Deep Slate. I guess to coincide with the deep dark, the new like really low down caves. Andesite no longer generates under Y equals zero. Tough now sometimes generates under Y equals zero. Uh, the tough layer of amethyst geodes has been replaced with now a new type of stone called Smooth Basalt. Smooth Basalt now obtained from smelt. You'll keep seeing smelt basalt into Smooth Basalt. This right here, chat, this is what I'm talking about. Whenever Jappa does anything to do with the textures he does so in a way that we just don't expect but wish like we should have had it sooner case in point yeah. this because it looks fucking awesome and also fucking netherrack remember netherrack holy shit it looked awful it's just the noisiest texture in the entire game and just looked trash so then Jappa just comes in he's just like yeah that thing the change happiness it. these <laughs> past few this needs changing right now and we change it and we're just like wow Holy shit, I didn't know I needed this, but Pog, same thing applies. The main Your reason that he's have done this as well tough and crap time, so um, is apparently smile. because also, it's like confusing people that are colorblind. Not these ones specifically, but on the old, old textures, everything just looked the same. Like iron and diamond, it just all looked the same. But now with the actual slightly different altered textures, you don't have to see the color. You can just know, which is really fucking good. That's something that I didn't know needed to happen until they did it. Again, something else that <laughs> Chapper and the team are just fucking awesome at doing. Let's have a look at this image. So, height equals where, width equals how much. And this is the current. So, Minecraft 1.16 is like this. So, basically, there's like, there's like peak points, it seems. It gets like slightly stronger in terms of um, occurrence. That's a smarter way of doing it. That makes much more sense. So, oh my god. Wait, does that mean... Does that <laughs> wait, chat? Does this does this mean that the higher you go in the mountains, the more emerald you get? The big mountains are gonna be chocked full of emeralds. Holy shit! The iron and the emerald are like maxed out at the highest points of the mountains. They they legit just added a reason to go up real high. It is time. Single player, create new world. What are we gonna call it? Uh. Deep slate. <laughs> What's the seed again? Should we just say like hello YouTube this time? <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're in. I love new worlds. There's some cursed sand. <laughs> that is a hefty amount of cursed sand. Is it pointing? What's over there, mate? Village? Thank you, sand. Thank you, sand. Maybe should we just go underneath the village? Oh, that's cool. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we might have to give ourselves night vision. Oh, look at this. Oh, bruh. That's such a good texture for copper. That's so good. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I fucking love these new caves, chat. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. It affects this as well. <gasps> okay. So from what I know uh, from the last snapshot that we didn't check out, they have changed how often flooded caves uh, can spawn. So they're not as common. A lot of people were kind of like upset that it was way too much water. So now it's a little bit drier. They've made it a bit drier. Uh, you can still find those deep caves with the water and shit. But now it's not as like hazardous. Because if you think about it, early game, you're just like constantly, you don't have, you don't have aquafinity, you don't have respiration. You're just constantly like, in fear of drowning if you're in like a big kind of like open space of water and in that older version ooh, it, oh fuck yeah in that other version from last week it was seen as more of a hazard so now we've got stuff like this which is way more common <laughs> holy shit yes oh it's so fucking spooky wait wait listen listen listen
they're prepping us for the deep dark chat. I am, I am spook. Warden's coming. We're not ready. <laughs> okay, I want to look at. Okay, there's deep sleep, dude. Oh my god. Yep, half slabs. There they are. Yep, half slabs and stairs. I'm boosting the audio. Chat, listen to this shit. Yes! Wait. Okay, so it's like slightly different. Right. So oh, this is ca this is castle material. This is this is full on. This is castle shit, dude. Chat, this is this is straight up. I want to build a castle and I need more blocks to do it. What do I deep slate? Yes. 100%. I need to know something. So they said that this is harder to break. Does a beacon with haste to still allow us to collect this shit fast? Boosh, boosh, boosh. Okay. Uh, let's go diamond and also netherite. Just to be sure. We got stone agent chat. Okay, so that one doesn't work. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> it's going to take so long. It's going to take so fucking long. Holy shit. No. TNT. TNT. How blast resistant is it? Okay. It might be more efficient to TNT it. We're going to have to straight up just TNT the shit out of it. We're going to nuke it, dude. I'll make a world eater. It's, it's pretty blast resistant. So TNT is probably going to be the way I collect this. because It's very, very slow to just mine it normally. Even with uh, efficiency 5, haste 2. They could change that, but I think I don't think they would. I feel like the idea is that it's just stronger stone down here. Like it's meant to be difficult to break since we're so far down. This looks really nice. So do we have a diamond version of that? It's got the heavier noise. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Gold, a gold pickaxe. Motherfuckers, you want me to try a gold pickaxe? Try it. You know how fucking useless that's going to be? That is going to be the worst decision. If we, oh my God, wait, hold on. For science. <laughs> For science, chat. All right. Uh... <laughs> nope. Look at the durability already. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, dude. Okay, science confirmed it. Uh it's still not good enough. Not good enough. It's 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 rough, dude. Bad, bad. Throw it in the trash. Yep. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Throw it in the garbage. Good lord. This is cute. This is really nice. I can't wait until they add the new the new underground biomes, dude. I can't wait. I need them so badly. Alright, let me go somewhere a little bit more open again. I think the f my favorite new one that, that they've changed is the gold. Coal is like as similar as you can get to the old texture. Lapis looks fucking awesome. What the fuck? <laughs> Ex excuse me, what? Oh. There he go. Straight into the ceiling, I guess. You can't stand on this one. It has to be grown. It has to be like a, a tall boy. There you go. And then it like drops down. You're cute. More, please. More, more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and it spreads out to the sides. <gasps> oh, shit. It just it fills the whole fucking room. That's really cool. Hey chat, remember that? I remember that project I'm doing right now. Oh, what was it? What was it called again? I need I need so much of that. I need so much of that. I'm actually kind of curious if um, I can hide them. Let's do let's do an experiment. Uh, what happens if I just go I don't know down here and I just go? Okay, okay. It straight up spreads like all over the place. What is the range on this thing? Holy shit. How many how many chunks are we talking? 
It looks like two chunks, two by two. Wait, how far down? More experiments. More experiments need to be done. Uh, where is it stopping? Wait, is it just taking a while to get down or is it? Okay, it stopped. Maybe I have to be within range. Yeah, I think I have to be in range. So ideally, you have to be within range for it to go off, but then it follows you like it. They just the particles just continue to fall. Honestly, that could have been like a lag machine. <laughs> imagine, imagine covering the entire roof of a world with this shit and it reaches all the way down to the bottom of the world. Like, bro, <laughs> that would have been too much. That would have been way too much. It would it completely it would have been annihilated people's PCs. It would have been like chunk banning. Oops, I walked into an area where someone had 50,000 blossoms in the sky. Well, whoops, it is. My bad, I guess. Can you hide these? Can you just like... What happens if I just block them in? Okay. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. You know what this means, chat? It means that we can hide these in builds. Project Flowerfall. We're going to have fuck tons of flowers everywhere, right? We're going to have flowers that I've built. What if I just put them hidden all over Flowerfall and then it'll just constantly give us this effect without us realizing. We're just like wandering around like, oh, we just passed a flower. That's so, that's so good. That's actually really good. I don't think we can dye them. That, that would be, that would be ridiculous. Just, just green. Maybe they could add that because then you could have multiple dotted around with different colors and create a rainbow. You could straight up create a rainbow out of particles. That would actually be fucking awesome. Maybe they could maybe they could add that. Maybe. Alright. Underground we go. I wanna find like a really cool spot. Feels like this would be the prelude to the deep dark. You would find this. You'd be like, okay, I'm on the right path. And then the further you go down, the deep dark would probably start spawning down this. At this height. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking pretty. Bruh. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, more more like more of this, please. Yes, more of this. So it's hard to find caves like this now apparently, but when you do, they've said that there's going to be an in in an increase in the ores that are open. So like digging around in the uh the spots that are dry, there's going to be a, f a lesser chance of finding ores exposed to air. However, in this sort of environment, they're looking at making ores exposed to air more common. So you will see a higher rate of finding ores down in these deep, deep water caves. Basically what I'm saying, chat, get your water breathing potions ready. Get them ready, dude. It's going to be the play. It's going to be the absolute play to just get tons of shit. Aquafini and water breathing. Holy shit, this cave. What the fuck? Mate. Come on, dude. dude. <laughs> yes. I can imagine this being very dangerous as well. Honestly, I feel like the, the, the frequency of ores should be equal between the ones exposed to more air and the ones exposed to water. Because if you think about it, these are probably going to be more dangerous. If you get water breathing, you're chilling. If you get night vision, things are still going to spawn in here. You'll be able to see them. But this is going to be an absolute mess of mobs. If anything, the ores should be increased in this area. It should be higher reward to run into this, this stuff. And not only can they just spawn like on the floor, they can spawn up high. Right? You can have a creeper fall on your head. There's like multiple layers. Look at this shit. Oh my god, dude. Straight away. Four creepers, a spider, skeleton. Two creepers there. Two zombies. Two skeletons, actually. You pop into one of these caves, you're going to be like struggling, dude. And also, you can't light up this area. Can't light up these areas, which are perfect spots for creepers to spawn on and drop on your head. Like that, you are just set up. This is this is a setup on to how to die. You ready? Basically, what I'm saying is chat. Very dangerous situation to be in. <laughs> See what I mean? You have like no time to react. They yeah, they need to like make it higher reward for being in these areas. So scary. It looks amazing. 
but like the dangers are like way higher than being in a water cave. I would arguably say water caves are probably the safest fucking place. Hey, look at that chat. Nothing's spawning down here. It's almost like it's the safest area you can be. <laughs> as long as you get water breathing potions, you're chilling. Everything's on the surface. Everything's up there. I don't think drowned are going to spawn this far down. Oh, there's a zombie. That's not a drowned though. He fell in. <laughs> I think drowns like spawn higher up. Any drowned boys? Any drowned? Hello, any drowned? Any drowned? Hmm. Nope. Nobody home. Nobody home. In survival. Water breathing. Safest place to be. As long as you've got water breathing. And maybe doors. If you want, you could just go like full sweat. Alright. You could go full sweat and bring like stack of 64 doors and just plonk them down every milestone <gasps> oh i didn't even realize oh look at that oh, that's so cool <laughs> i didn't even notice <laughs> chains holding everything up Man, I wondered what was going on. I was like, aren't there meant to be logs underneath this? No, no, apparently, no. One of the devs on Twitter made a really good point. Now that these caves are so frequent and so open, there's going to be a huge increase in cave builds. People just making houses and little builds underground and having like tunnels that lead to different areas. It's going to be like we're all hamsters. <laughs> I'm gonna have like tubes just leading out to different areas for safety and then like big op big like boxes where we keep like crops and shit like anybody that's gonna be a cave dweller is gonna have to make like a hamster cage sort of setup <laughs> with all these like safety tubes <laughs> otherwise they're just gonna get absolutely destroyed by fucking mobs can we, can we, uh, we can't get any of the new cave biomes yet, can we? I thought I remember reading, uh, something about how you could, like, create a world in the snapshot that was, that had it in, but you have to, like, specify, because it can't naturally spawn in on its own. It has to be, like, every cave. You can. Create a biome world. Should we do that? Should we give that a go? Let's take a look. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yep. So do these grow? Like, incredibly slowly over time. Oh my god. <laughs> excited for these new caves. I'm so excited. Why did they have to keep teasing us? <laughs> Come on, dude. Add the other ones, please. Please. Dangerous, though, remember. Dangerous. Don't want to drop down these. Don't want to land on one of these spikes, boys. Nope. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Caves are straight up like the most dangerous shit now. People would be scared of, like, shitty little caves that have barely anything in them. Now we have this completely open death everywhere i haven't even turned i haven't got the mobs turned on oh my god i haven't even got the mobs turned on <laughs> okay <laughs> death everywhere actual horror movie dude i swear to god if i lose my fucking hardcore world in this shit i am gonna flip i'm gonna lose it if i fly into a spike and just get bapped out of the world I'm going to flip my shit. I can see it happening. I can see it happening. <laughs> like, oopsie daisy, I landed on this spike and now I died. Rip. I'm going to be extra careful. 
I'm going to be so fucking careful. I will admire them from a distance, chat. We will find these cool areas. Admire them from a distance. And probably not go too far into them. Uh, unless there's a very, very clear escape route. Or path of safety. Yo! Okay, I'm flying down this. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have way too, way too much fun. Oh, my God. Chat. If. Okay. Right. Dangerous. Chat. If we go down into a dripstone cave in my hardcore world, remind me to hold a totem just to be safe. Because you know what I'm like. I'm going to be an idiot and be like, this is Pog. I'm going to do this risky thing for no reason. Don't let me forget. <laughs> Yeah. Deal? Deal? Alright. Okay. Sweet dude. That was cool. That was really cool. I'm very excited. Everyone say bye, YouTube. I don't know if I'll make a video out of that. I honestly don't know if I'll make a video out of that. It was pretty fucking cool, though. It was pretty cool.